Don't look now, but there's something funny going on over there at the bank, George. I've never really seen one, but that's got all the earmarks of being a run. Now you have another platform for Genesis, Genesis Capital, saying that their relationship to Gemini and Gemini itself are leading to pausing withdrawals among clients in the industry. The crypto bank run continues at high speeds, with the FTX contagion continuing to spread. Genesis's lending arm and Gemini Earn program pauses withdrawals. It is more important now than ever to take custody of your own crypto, not your keys, not your coins. And you may think that the exchange that you're using is good to go. You know, the exchange that I use is solid, a lot of people say but sometimes it's just not under their control. If they have been partnering with somebody else, such as Gemini partnering with Genesis for the lending program, well, you can't control what Genesis is doing on their end. The default of Three Arrows Capital created a multi-billion dollar loss for Genesis. I guess the 3AC default wasn't you know, enough to take them down. However, FTX has created unprecedented market turmoil resulting in abnormal withdrawal requests which have exceeded our current liquidity. Guys, these exchanges don't have your money. It's a bank run. They don't have your coins, right? If you can get your coins out, you're the lucky one, but a lot of these exchanges don't even have your coins available. You understand what I'm saying? Your coins are not available to be withdrawn on a lot of these platforms. This is how bank runs happen, right? This is a real bank run in crypto. And a lot of you guys are gonna say, oh, I'm spreading fun or whatever. I mean, but guys, it's just one day after the next, then, you know, it's just a domino. And again, you may think that the exchange you're using is solid, but you don't know who they're partnering with. I mean, they're, all the details are not known for a lot of these exchanges. And whenever an exchange owner or a CEO feels the need to come out publicly and say funds are safe, that's about the time you need to make your withdrawals. And if the message wasn't already clear, be sure to take your Bitcoin out of exchange. In other news, Tom Brady, Larry David, and other celebrities are now named in the FTX lawsuit. The lawsuit alleges that US customers sustained 11 billion in damages, and they're accusing the exchange of targeting unsophisticated traders, which is absolutely true. I mean, they got Tom Brady, Stephen Curry, and all these athletes to sort of just, you know, blast their the FTX brand name across the whole audience of people, you know, sports fans that really don't know what they're doing. Now, it's not their fault that people would lose money in crypto, but the problem here is that they got people to put money into FTX, which then ended up trading with customer funds on leverage and losing the money. So the people in this lawsuit are gonna use any reason possible. They're gonna try to argue any reason possible to get their money back, and honestly, they should. The lawsuit also names athletes and celebrities that promoted the platform. We can see here Tom Brady, Tom Brady's ex-wife, uh, the Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry, and the businessman, Kevin O'Leary. And you know what's even worse than all of this? Is the interview that we got from Kevin O'Leary with Crypto Banter. Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank was one of the investors in FTX. And when he was asked if he would invest with SBF again in the future, he said yes. Listen to this. If SBF knocked on your door again and said, look, I failed in my last venture. Uh, I have a new crypto venture. I need money. Would you back him? That's a great question. No one's asked me yet. I think we can all admit, you, you can love him or hate him given what's happened, but he was one of the most brilliant traders in the crypto universe. He also built one of the most robust platforms. We used FTX actively. It was a very robust platform uh, that allowed us to get information on a compliant basis. So I really like what he built. Um, would you back him? The answer would be yes and so this is just unbelievable what a response right i mean how ridiculous is that and so my response to this video was 
SBF countertraded the market leading to Bitcoin price suppression. SBF likely crashed Luna, wrecked Three Arrows Capital, and then went insolvent with FTX. And Kevin O'Leary wants to reinvest with Sam Bankman Fried. I mean, if we give Sam Bankman Fried another chance, this industry is done. And speaking of second chances, Sam Bankman Fried tweeted yesterday that he wants a restart. He's literally asking us to get a restart and do it all again. He actually blocked me on Twitter, so I have to use a separate browser here. Um, but it, it's just crazy that you know somebody can just completely defraud a million people of billions of dollars and then get defended by the mainstream media. Right, The mainstream media is actually talking sort of good about SBF because why? Well, he donated to politicians. So they just want more money from him. And they're gonna try to give him another restart. They're gonna get, they're gonna try to give him another chance to keep funding their parties, etc. cetera. Um, but you know, we cannot let this happen, guys. It's, it's just, he's the one who caused most of the damage here. We cannot let him back in this industry. But that's it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to withdraw your funds from exchanges. There is a crypto bank run and we don't know what the extent of it is going to be, where the contagion is going to lead next. It could get worse, so it's better to be safe than sorry. See you all in the next video.